first candidate is to be part of the top three. Mamma and Dona. From 24 down to 10, we are narrowing it down to only three. These are the three ladies making it in the last clap. The person I'm calling in is Congratulations, candidate number 20, Fuchsia Rivera. The second spot is for candidate number. Congratulations, candidate number twenty-four. The next name that I'm going to be calling out will be our last finalist for this coronation night. You are moving on to the next round of the competition. Congratulations, candidate number 23, and Patricia Lorenzo. Candidate number 20, my question for you is, are you ready for this next round of the competition? Yes. Uh, I can't. Oh, because I've been preparing all these days because of this, and I have to do my very right. best. Oh, hey. Your question. Candidate number 20 goes like this. If you step foot on the stage of Miss International Queen in Pattaya, Thailand. What will be your message to everybody regarding what is happening in the world right now? Once again, if you step foot on the stage of Miss International Queen in Pattaya, Thailand, what will be your message to everyone regarding what is happening in the world right now? Thank you so much for the very interesting question. Right now, we are experiencing hard times. And if given a chance to win Miss International Queen, the message that I will tell to the world is just to stay strong and have faith in God. Because I always believe that we should be strong enough to handle these kinds of situation. And it is a very big opportunity for me to share to people to stay strong, especially in this challenging time. I have been experiencing a lot through these years. And this pandemic, I stay strong and stand because I know I have, I have the purpose in this world, and if I will be a um, Miss International Queen, I will tell to the world to have a uh, strong faith in God and stay strong. Thank you and good evening. Thank you very much, candidate number twenty. Beautiful, just in time. All right, now here we go. Let's find out what candidate number twenty-four has to say about this round of the competition. Well done, once again, candidate number 20. Beautiful Miss number 24, please. Take the, the center stage, there you go. Congratulations, top three. Nandito na, 
finally, we are at this point where you are one step closer to the crown. Yes, finally, after so many months of preparation with um, Mrs. International Queen, let's give a round of applause to Mommy Michelle Monte Carlos, please. Thank you so much. And might as well with the backbone of Miss International Queen Philippines, which is our sponsors. Please let's give them a round of applause. Absolutely. Thank I agree. you. All right. Now, candidate number 24, you sound like you are more than prepared to answer this. So I'm going to go ahead and ask you the question, okay? Here we go. Question is, if you step foot on the stage of Miss International Queen in Pattaya, Thailand, what will be your message to everyone regarding what is happening in the world right now? Once again, if you step foot on the stage of Miss International Queen in Pattaya, what will be your message to everyone regarding what is happening in the world right now? The only message that I can actually tell them, especially in MIQ Pattaya, is in a world where equality and respect, it is not being asked. It is being earned. And whatever we do, whatever the circumstances and the struggles we've been through, let's tell everyone our story, share them, so they will know that we are here, that we exist, that we need ourselves to prove to them that the trans women community is not just for mockery and mistreatment but all of us needs thank you alright that is all the time we have but wonderful answer thank you very much candidate number 24 moving on down to our last finalist we have candidate number 23 Patricia, congratulations, top three, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and ask you your final question. Are you ready? I am more than ready. Let's do it. Your question goes like this. If you step foot on the stage of Miss International Queen in Pattaya, what will be your message to everyone regarding what is happening in the world right now? One more time. If you step foot on the stage of Miss International Queen in Pattaya, what will be your message to everyone regarding what is happening in the world right now? Being in the Miss International Queen stage in Pattaya, Thailand is such a huge privilege for me. If I will be given a chance to give a message to the world right now is that an act of kindness can change the world. Especially right now that we are experiencing this pandemic COVID-19, we tend to forget the most important thing is just to give an act of kindness to one another. Always remember, there is nothing much more beautiful by doing something that it can benefit to others. Thank you so much. Wow. I'm just blown away by that answer. Once again, candidate number 23. Are you ready to crown the first ever Miss International Queen Philippines? We're first going to be going on the second runner-up. She will be awarded by MIQBH Talent Development and Image Branding Manager, Ms. Andrea Justine Aliman. Our second runner-up, ladies and gentlemen, this...
first runner-up will be awarded by MIQBH supervising producer, Mr. Tay Indencha. Once again, we are calling out our first runner-up. Thank you. 